Hey everybody, today I'm coming at you with a very common question we get here in the office, and that is, do I use ice or do I use heat? Now I will say, not everybody agrees on this, but based on the data, based on a lot of research that's going on, we're gonna give you our best recommendations, especially during the initial time when you come in and you're going through that first uh, phase of healing. So the rule of thumb is that we always recommend is for the first three days, we're always going to be using ice. Why is that? Well, number one, we have three phases of healing and the first 72 hours or three days is called the inflammatory phase. Now during the inflammatory phase, that means you're going to have swelling. And what do we want to use for swelling? We want to use ice. That's going to help take that down as quickly as possible. We're going to be doing that for 15 minutes at a time, once an hour. Okay, 15 minutes at a time, once an hour, as needed. Now, what do you do after three days? After three days, we can start to alternate ice and heat because now we're getting into the repair phase of healing. Now be sure to watch our other video that goes over the three phases of healing if you have more questions about that. But during the repair phase, it's the next six to 12 weeks after that. And in the beginning, we're gonna be alternating ice and heat most likely. There's gonna be a little bit of an individuality to these recommendations. So you always wanna ask us and keep us updated on how things are going from visit to visit if there's any changes because sometimes it's going to be better to switch right over to heat um, but in the beginning as a rule of thumb after those three days you're going to be alternating ice and heat uh, for about the next week and then we're going to slowly gradually be bringing you into using heat uh, because heat actually brings more blood flow to the area more blood flow is going to bring oxygen and that oxygen is going to help those cells heal. If we're just using ice the whole way through, we're going to be um, deadening the sensation on the skin, which feels good. It feels good, but that's actually can, can work against us and we don't want to prolong the period of healing. So that's why, we're gonna be switching from ice to heat, and heat is the predominant uh, recommendation for us once we're through those first few days after an injury. You have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask us on our next uh, visit that we have. We'd love to talk to you more about it.